Welcome to Angela's Kitchen Garden. I've come down to the plot today and it's been raining all of yesterday, which is fantastic. I'll show you what it looks like now. As you can see, the grounds all had a thorough watering. So I'm gonna get on with some more digging and it should be easier now that the ground has been watered because it was so dry, it was getting really, really tough to be able to dig. So that's what I'm gonna do with today. I'm gonna get on and do a little bit more digging. So this is what I've managed to dig out today. I've done a couple of rows and I'm gonna leave it there for today. But I'll show you, I've had to pull back the black plastic because I've got up to it now. And I'll show you here with my boots. I have got one, two, three, four, just under five boots to go. And I've got quite small feet, they're only size five. And so I'm almost there. I thought I'd give you a little update on my seedlings that are in my brassica cage. Here are my sweet peas, and as you can see, they're all starting to come through now. And then in the one behind, I've got four pots with different flower seeds in, and my asters are starting to come up. And then behind that, I have got my nasturtiums in there, and they're coming up. And the reason that I grow nasturtiums is as a kind of lost crop so the butterflies will lay their eggs on them and then they won't be so determined to try and get into my brassica cages to lay their eggs onto my broccoli and my cabbages and things like that and then I've got my green tender stem broccoli and I've given a couple of those away because we do swaps on this plot so it's really nice I give other people certain things and they give me things and we've got a real sharing community here and then behind that I've got my purple and white tender stem broccoli and I'm also going to be doing a swap with those. One of the other plot holders has got some, so we're going to try each other's varieties. And it means that you can see which ones do better and then you can get the best crop for your site. And then behind that, I've got my kale. They're doing really well. And then at the back in that tray with the seed tray, I've got my brew kale or flower sprouts. I've got my cabbages and I've also got a couple of Brussels sprouts. My Brussels sprouts didn't do very well and I've re-sown some at home. But um, one of my friends down here said that she'd give me a couple of her Brussels sprout plants. So I will have enough, which will be really nice. And then on this side, I've got my seed trays and I'm growing these with the Charles Dowding method where you put several seeds into each plug and then grow them as a little collection. So these are all coming through and I'll keep you posted to see how well these do this year. And then at the back, I've got my peas and my sugar snap peas. And this is my third try with these. And so hopefully these are actually gonna start coming through. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also check out my other videos. If you're on social media, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest and the details of that are in the description below. And I'll be uploading another video at the same time tomorrow. So see you on the next one. Bye.